All right, what's going on guys? Beastars, manga chapter 176. Let's get right into it. Now we start off with a kangaroo mother and the child, and it looks like they're getting near the black market alley. Now this police officer's warning them that they can't go into the black market alley. They erected this giant door so no one can get in right now. And on top of the door, we see Yafia. This event looks like it's gonna get very serious. So we can expect that Lagoshi's gonna have his hands full here. Now on top of the large wall, the wall, uh, we see Yafia. Now he's talking to what looks like a bear, but we later find out that it's not a bear, that it's the 500 mice. And uh, they're wishing Yafia good luck. It looks like he's gonna take care of the situation in the black market alley by himself, like always. And as Yafia is sort of mentally preparing himself for the battle to come, he's reminiscing about Gosha and talking about the fact that he doesn't need him for this battle and that he's finally won. And then out of nowhere, we see Gosha on top of the wall next to Yafia. Now because Gosha is very worried about Lagoshi at this point in the story, he's secreting a lot of poison from his mouth. And it's just absolutely corroding and destroying the wall. I mean, you just see this huge divot in the wall and uh, he even slides down it and he needs the help of Yafia to pull him up so very humorous moment there even on the precipice of the final battle there's still an injection of humor to sort of take the edge off just a little bit so I really appreciate that and then after the comedy we get a very intense juxtaposition with another lizard not Gosha a different lizard or uh, Komodo dragon should I say attacking Lagoon Goshi very fiercely and we find out from the Goshi's internal monologue that in fact he has to go through many of the members of the black market alley before he can even engage with Melon. This is a very interesting bit of information here. It sort of feels like a tournament arc if you don't mind me saying so myself. He's gonna have to go to one battle after another and uh, hopefully he can reach the end where he can fight the final boss. So it looks like the first battle is with the Dokugumi which is the uh, uh, Komodo Dragon Gang. Then after that, you got the uh, Madaragumi. Then after the Madaragumi, you got the Inaragumi. And then finally, you got the Shishigumi with Melon. So Lagoshi's gonna have to beat three adversaries if he's gonna want to have that final bout with Melon. So who knows what kind of condition he's gonna be in after all these battles. I would imagine he's gonna be bloodied, exhausted, psychologically worn out. So who knows how that's going to occur. I I feel like he's gonna need some help at some point. That could happen via Lewis stepping in and offering a, another part of his body to Lagoshi. Could be Yafia stepping into the battle and possibly taking a turn with one of the opponents. Kind of like a WWE style tag team match. I don't know if they're gonna allow that in the black market alley, but I would assume there's no rules, so why not? Uh, so very fascinating stuff. And then Lagoshi's reminiscing about Gosha, his grandfather. It was one of those times where he lost a tooth and uh, Gosha is teaching him that after he loses a tooth, he's gotta throw it away as far as he can. And uh, the reason is, is because it's good luck. Don't ask me, I, I don't know all the, uh, I don't know all the traditions in Beastars, but uh, yeah, I guess if you throw your tooth really far away, it's good luck. And then you have a very nice manga panel with Gosha hugging Lagoshi after he throws away his tooth. Uh, a very warm embrace, a uh, very solemn, emotional scene. And then you got the Komodo dragon in the black market alley that's jumping into the air and is getting ready to attack Lagoshi with all his fury and rage. And as this Komodo dragon is biting down on Lagoshi, Lagoshi's like, oh, hey, I'm growing new teeth, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> very nice and then a very nice response by the komodo dragon he's like dude i'm trying to kill you i'm not your grandpa so that was a very fascinating chapter of b stars not only did we get the initiation of the battle in the black alley market we got a lot of nice background information about lagoshi and his grandfather we got some nice uh, comedic moments thrown in there as well and we finally have an idea of how the battle is going to progress to his eventual bout with melon so I would say 
you know, with just the first battle starting and probably maybe concluding in the next chapter or maybe even going another chapter after that, the whole hypothesis that Beastars is ending on chapter 180 is probably way out the window, which is fantastic. Looks like we got a lot more Beastars to go in the future. Another interesting bit of information I did want to mention as well. Now, these are fan subs, so I don't know the accuracy of some of these translations, but at the beginning of the manga chapter, it did mention that Beastars Season 2 will be airing February 2021 on Fuji TV. So if that's correct, that is fantastic news, guys. I know we were kind of expecting Season 2 to happen sometime in 2020. I saw some rumors maybe in August or in the fall. But with no official announcements, it's probably unlikely that 2020 is going to happen. But early 2021 is a welcome surprise. Uh, so if that's true, that's great news. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I got to say on this manga chapter. Another good one in the books. We're just starting the battle and we got to see how it proceeds. We got to see if lagoshi has got the resolve within him to take down all his opponents and finally fight Melon. Or if someone's going to put him down for the count. And uh, oh yeah. I want to thank you guys as well for getting me over the 1,000 subscriber mark. Amazing achievement. I couldn't have done it without you guys. So thank you for that. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side.